Kindred! Your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? The time for decisions has passed. My Wunderkin returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Know what? What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. And you believed them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin all ranks. They are duplicitous? Evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I.
What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. How have you gotten this far? Here's what we're going to do. I know of someone who can help. His name is Dr. Ingvar Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. I did find a pair of bikini swimwear, and a book detailing the origins of various Turkish dialects. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Hmm. It's easy to assume proficiency in something you've never done, isn't it? Be that as it may. These hunters are leagues above the security guard turned vampire killer you might have encountered thus far. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But, actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. 
I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Excellent. The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Obfuscate will serve you well around the hunters. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Remember, Doctor, you The Kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. The Museum of Natural History housed one. Of that, I'm certain. I did investigate the grounds, but I have concluded it was stolen along with that sarcophagus. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Yes. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the Odious Chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Yes. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Yes. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave.